Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rayman. The last episode, we did the second level of World 4, and in this episode, we're heading to the boss. This level right here is, in my opinion, the hardest level in the game. Uh, there's a lot of one-ups in this, surprisingly. I'm not gonna go for them, um, because it's, it's not worth it. It just takes a lot of time, and, well, I feel like I'm gonna lose them anyway, so... Might as well just not bother getting them. Now, do I want to go down here? Um, yes, actually I do want to go down here. Because this is an easy to get one up. One that I will get. There's like a section in here that traps you and almost kills you. It is possible to get out of it alive, but it's not really worth it. Like, I, I don't know why it would do that for a 1-up. I mean, I guess this was a little bit out of the way, but it didn't take me that long to get. We're also gonna get another 1-up soon for getting all of the things, so that's good. And I see some over there, but I, I won't go over there. That's another one of those extra paths. Almost none of these paths have act actually have anything except for just 1-ups. There's only two cages in here. Even though it's full of these secret paths. So I think I'm just gonna go straight for those cages and... Don't even worry about the rest of it. Get this last ring here. Make sure you uh, grab onto... Make sure you go down and grab onto the next ring before you hit the wall. Because there's not enough room and if you hit the wall you'll just fall down. So... Be aware of that. You can go down there and there will be some stuff, but nothing important. I don't even think that has a 1-up, it's just a long way around. Makes you go in a circle and you don't get anything out of it, so don't go that way. Now we should be able to get this 1-up here, hopefully. There's one down there, but I'm not gonna go for it. That's the section that traps you if you go down uh, to the right there. So instead, I will go up here because we need to go to the cage. It's kind of weird, this... this... Uh, how do I explain this? This stage has two different exits. If you go to one of them, you can go to the other one and you screw yourself out of getting um, the second cage that is in this section. Oh crap. This cage, I always, I always fall down here. It's such an annoying cage to get. The other one isn't too bad. But, especially this one. Let's just try that again. And we hit the top one. If I get lucky, I might be able to... No. Okay, what about now? No, because I'm going to hit that one. Can we hit the cage? Now! Nope, I still missed. But, at least that thing's back there now, so... There we go. There's our first cage. Now we can fall down. And uh, let's see. Do I want to go down there? No, I want to... Swing along these rings, I believe. And that should lead us up to the next cage. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I do believe if you go down, there will be another another exit, but you'll screw yourself out of getting this cage right here. So it's kind of confusing, but that does it for the first section, which is good. Now this one is not too bad if you can get past the first part of it. Oh, uh, why did I go back for that? I didn't need that. Because you're gonna, you're gonna have to be really good at ring jumping here, and jump really high. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter much here yet, but... Yeah, you want to get onto that, so you're gonna have to... Let go at the top of your swing and try to get up there. And they, and... See, like, in World 2, they made us do this to, um... To get to a cage and to an extra life, but now we actually have to do this to progress. I'm being really careful here. Uh, see, that time I thought I wasn't gonna make it. I, I never... 
I never expect. I never. Ex oh god, now that thing's moving. Oh god. I never expect to jump onto it uh, when I actually do. I'm, I'm surprised I got that because it was moving. Uh, like, I was about to die there, just kill myself and try again. Oh god. Oh god, this part. <laughs> yeah, I do not like this level. <laughs> if you can. Oh, please tell me the thing. Oh, thank god. I was gonna say, please tell me the thing responds. Again, you want to get the maximum jump height here to be able to make it over those spike over, over those spikes. And we should be near a cage somewhere around here. I think it's over here actually. Um yes it is. Uh that makes a one up appear. Let me think. I know that cage is around here somewhere. But I have to make it appear somehow. Please tell me I did I didn't miss it. Cause if I did, that would really suck. Of course I can go back for this one if I did miss it. Yeah, it's not that cage, I know that much. Oh, is it down there? Where that ring is? Please tell me it is. Yeah, it's it's here, I just whoa. Like Alicia's much? I just went down a little bit too early. That's, that's why I got confused. Good thing I didn't miss that. These spots with the uh, with the paint in it have a really weird hitbox. I, I always get stuck on those for some reason. I mean, they look really cool. But, oh god, can I make it out of here? I'm not gonna use that thing, because I know they'll just kill me if I do. <laughs> And we should be able to get... Well, first let me grab these, just because I can. And then we can... Whoa. Excuse me there, I kind of burp. <laughs> Don't do that on video, boy. We can get up here, and we can get to the second cage that we already saw earlier. Well, that was smart. Now that thing's over here. Bouncing. Being in my way. This stage really likes making things appear, doesn't it? There we go, that's the second cage for this part of the level. These la the last two cages... Oh, those are going to be a real pain to get. Because the next section... Will kill me, I can promise you that. <laughs> I've never completed the next section without dying at least a few times. I've gotten game overs on that section so, so many times. And do I want to go over there? There is something up there. I kind of want to see what it is. Oh, pff, just one of those. I don't really care. Just go down here and do the exit. Yeah! We're only nine minutes into the video. We're making great time here, but this section... Oh boy. They played this music for it, which... Okay, duck. Don't get hit by those. And I'm gonna take a shortcut here. You're supposed to follow that thing over there and... Um, like go all the way around, but if you... If you time this jump just right... Oh, come on. I used to be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. You can jump up here and completely skip that. You'll skip um, a checkpoint that's over there, but that's okay, because there's going to be another checkpoint, like, right as we go down here. Mm. That's actually a one-up I want to try to get. I mean, if I'm going to be dying as this much, I might as well get it. To get this one-up, you want to... Oh, not that. I want to get on this thing. 
and just sort of fly over there. Screensaver! I forgot to turn it off again. Oh god. Good thing I didn't die. I have four health, but that's not gonna matter. Now I have five, and that's still not gonna matter because... Oh god, we're there. We're there, we're there. Oh man, I got past that on the first try. Oh. Oh, and we have to go back still because there's two cages along this path. And the. <laughs> the oh, don't. Please don't hit that. Whatever you do, don't screw this up now. Come on. This will lead us to the first one. And I should have gone back for that other one while I still could. Now it's too late. Or it might be too late. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. At least there's a lot of these. And there's our fifth cage. But there was one back there. Like at the halfway point where the second pencil sharpener was. There is a cage you can get there if you can if you go back, just like I <gasps> I almost died. That thing despawned, didn't it? Yep, it did. And now I have to die to make it back there. Crap! I was gonna Oh, I, I was gonna try to do this without dying. How awesome would that have been? I've never been able to do that, so. Well, let's just do it with only one death then. That is still justified. See, this is this is a perfect example of the LP curse. Like, you do really well at really hard sections of the game. And now I wanna ho oh, ah! You do really well at the really hard sections, and the easy parts are just I don't know, impossible suddenly. Well, we died again. I could have had a no death run of this whole level. And, yeah. That, that totally broke my concentration there. That totally broke my concentration. I hope I can still do this without dying a million times. This is what I've been saving all of my lives for. This is why I wanted to... This is why I wasn't sure. If I was gonna make it, because I don't know how many continues I have left on this on this password file. Okay. Something appeared back there. That's gonna lead us... Crap. Went back to the left a little earlier than I expected it to. Yeah, this is the most annoying cage to get, if you can tell. And, in fact, I might cut to it. If I don't get it now, I will cut don't like cutting in this this LP, but I'll have to if that's what it takes. And I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna cut to my successful attempt here. Give me a minute. I am so scared right now. Please tell me that thing comes back. Please. No. It's not going to. We did it! Are we gonna be able to get this without dying? God, because there, there's still this section. <gasps> no, no! Don't die. Whatever you do. Can I make it on there? Or, oh, I bet I have to use that thing. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to go the long way. And there's the cage! Now, let's get to it. Yes! 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 We got it! Haha, <laughs> we got the final cage for this level. Oh, God, I'm happy that's over. Now I have to do this again. Which, now that I look at it, it's not really that bad. I don't know why this part scared me. It's, it's just a cage that can be a little bit challenging to get. I am so glad I made it through that, and we 100%ed this level. Now we just have to fight the boss, which... 
As I have said before, is the hardest boss in the game. We're fighting Space Mama again. We're going back to the theater. This time we seem to be, uh... Oh, crap. I should have seen that coming. Her washing machine spaceship. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. She got a really cheap first hit on me, uh, on me there, and I forgot she did that. No, oh, get back there. Hey, you you want to try to knock her back? Because this... She'll, like, take a step forward every single time. And you kinda... If she gets all the way to the left side, she'll hit you, so... Now, this first part isn't really too bad. It's... Okay. Is she gonna do her thing yet? No. She's, like... She's, she's gonna try to predict where you're gonna, like, be when she goes... Uh, when she comes back down, so... Now we just want to hit her a few times, and... She'll go into her next phase. Where she, uh... She has these pants. And this section's gonna last for a while, you're not gonna be able to hit her, you're just gonna have to dodge these. <laughs> I'm happy I have two hits, because normally I only have one hit on this. I'm just gonna stay on this side here, and we should be safe. Uh, we should still be safe, I think. Yep. Oh god, get out of that corner. And this is gonna be a little bit nerve-wracking. Run. Duck. Run again. And duck, come on, make it, make it, make it, make it! Yes! Okay. You made it past that part. Hit her again. Is she gonna use her... Washing machine there. Um, yeah, she is. Now, this is the most annoying part of the fight. You're gonna want to hit uh, her washing machine. I believe. You're gonna want to hit that button on it. And while you're doing that, she's gonna, like, keep shooting at you. And sometimes she has, like, these long shots. And especially the ones on the floor, you have to jump over. Like that one. I... Okay, I don't know. I don't know what she was doing there. Especially when you when you hit her, it like it messes up her pattern, and it's oh yeah. ah, she got me. What can I say? She got me. Now, okay, that was just a test run. Now let's actually beat her if we can. Man, this video is already up to twenty minutes. Then again, I am editing some of that. Um, some of that cage collection there. So we should still be okay. Don't step forward, please. I don't want you to get to the left side of the screen. Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. If I can actually hit her this time. Yes, she didn't hit us. Man, I don't know what to accommodate about, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of trying to concentrate on this boss fight, but at the same time, I don't want it to be boring. Almost got her halfway down her health again. Come on. Don't make this take any longer than it already has. And we're going back into her invincible phase, I guess I'll call it. This grouch. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, I forgot about that one! Man. I really wanted to keep that hit for later, but... Uh, I should have seen it coming, that was my bad. Back to... Back with this again. Now this one I know what she's gonna do, so... Should, we shouldn't get hit on this. I think she's going the opposite side this time. Pretty sure the gap was on, like, on, the, on the left side last time. Hit her one more time. And she's gonna use that washing machine again. I don't know what she does with it. I guess she uses it as a shield or something. 
Ugh. I didn't expect her to start low. Another low one. Get your gun out of the way. So I can actually hit that thing on your spaceship there. I would assume that's your spaceship. Kind of a weird spaceship, but oh well. This game is this game isn't supposed to make sense. Yeah, you can see the flashing light on there. We we're almost done. Only one more hit, and we get rid of our spaceship. And that's pretty much the worst of it. If I if you're able, yeah. Don't get hit by that, please. Thank you. That can actually hit hit you while it's bouncing off the screen, so be careful. And now the rest of the fight is just gonna be her doing one of her random um, attacks with her pants and then just floating down so you can hit her. And she only has four health left, so I think we got this. Oh yeah, and she starts doing that. I forgot about that. She's probably the most diverse boss in this whole game. I, I, I like this boss fight, even though it's hard. Oh, and she almost hit me there. Yeah, we got this. There's, there's no way we don't got this. She only shot one that time. Oh god. Oop. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of annoying if you have to crouch to, to dodge those and she'll uh, she'll float down she'll start floating down while she's only one. Really? She'll like start floating down while you're still dodging. That's the only part that can get kind of annoying, but she's only she only has one hit left, so. We should have this. Don't land on my head, please. Come on, hit her! And she's done! Oh! And... We start Dark Kidnaps with Tilla the Fairy. Yeah, we don't get... We don't get any power-ups anymore. Instead, we get that. But, uh... Yeah, with that, we're done with World 4. Uh, world 5 is waiting for us, which is the last normal world in the game. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm really excited, because this is my favorite world. So, join me for that next time on Let's Play Rayman 2. Thank you guys for watching.